Hello and welcome to the show. Today we are going to be discussing the topic of animal nutrition. Balanced diet. A balanced diet is a diet consisting of the right proportions of every type of nutrient in suitably sized proportions. A balanced diet should contain carbohydrates, fats, proteins, fibers, vitamins, minerals and water. Note that fiber cannot be digested. It is used to form roughage in the intestines, so the intestine walls have something to push against when moving the food along the alimentary canal. A balanced diet for different people is slightly different because our energy requirements differ from person to person. Note that the energy needed is provided by our carbohydrate and fat intake. Males usually need more energy than females and we tend to use more and more energy as we age until we stop growing that is. Growing children need a higher proportion of protein than adults do and pregnant women require extra nutrients for the development of the fetus. Nutrition and health. Malnutrition occurs when you don't have a balanced diet. The definition states that malnutrition is lack of proper nutrition caused by not having enough to eat, not eating enough of the right things, or being unable to use the food that one does eat. Starvation is caused by consuming too little food, maybe due to a lack of food supply or a mental disorder causing an intense fear of gaining weight. This leads to intense weight loss, organ damage and, in serious cases, death. Coronary heart disease, CHD, is when cholesterol sticks to the walls of your arteries. Sometimes this even forms blood clots. This cuts off or limits the supply of blood that your heart muscles receive, leading to a heart attack. This arises from consuming too many saturated fats. Constipation is when you are unable to defecate, which can be extremely painful. This is caused by a lack of fibre. Your intestines won't have anything to push on in order to move the food along the alimentary canal if there is no fibre. Obesity arises from consuming too much food. This can lead to several diseases such as diabetes, strokes and difficulty breathing. Process definitions. Digestion is defined as the breakdown of large insoluble food molecules into small water soluble molecules using mechanical and chemical processes. This is done via the mouth. Absorption is when the broken down nutrient molecules are absorbed into the blood or lymph through the gut wall. Egestion is the expulsion of undigested food from the digestive tract via the anus. Egestion is the removal of undigested substances from the alimentary canal, usually through the anus. The alimentary canal. Here is a diagram of the alimentary canal, which is defined as the entire passage through which food travels for the process of digestion from the mouth through to the anus. The alimentary canal consists of mouth, esophagus, stomach, the small intestine which consists of the duodenum and then the ileum, the large intestine, colon, rectum and anus. The alimentary canal consists of 1. Mouth 2. Esophagus 3. Stomach Four, the small intestine, which consists of the duodenum and the ileum. Five, large intestine. Six, colon. Seven, rectum. Eight, anus. Now let's go through the function of each of these organs. Note that there are two types of digestion, 
chemical digestion involving enzymes and mechanical digestion involving the physical crushing of the food. Mouth. The mouth contains saliva, which is secreted from the salivary glands. Saliva contains salivary amylase, an enzyme that breaks down carbohydrates, chemical digestion. The mouth also contains teeth that cut, chew and grind food, which is mechanical digestion. Food is formed into a bolus, which is then swallowed. The mouth is used for ingestion and digestion. Esophagus. The swallowing of food causes it to move from the mouth to the stomach through the esophagus by peristalsis. Peristalsis is the involuntary constriction and relaxation of the muscles in the intestine or another canal, creating wave-like movements which push the contents of the canal forward. Stomach. The stomach is an organ containing gastric juices, mainly hydrochloric acid and protease enzymes. The acidity, pH2, kills bacteria and the proteases digest proteins. The stomach also churns the food in it. Only digestion occurs in the stomach. Small intestine. The small intestine is the region where digested nutrient molecules are absorbed into the blood or lymph. Duodenum. The pancreas and the gallbladder are connected to the duodenum by ducts. Pancreatic juices and bile stored in gallbladder are transported to the duodenum via these ducts. Pancreatic juices contain proteases, lipases, fat digesting enzymes, amylases and sodium hydrogencarbonate, which neutralizes the acid from the stomach. Bile produced by the liver and stored in the gallbladder contains bile acids also known as bile salts which emulsify fats. Therefore the duodenum is a site of digestion. Pancreas the pancreas secretes pancreatic juices to the duodenum. As the pancreas uses nutrient molecules to do this, this can be considered a site of assimilation. Gallbladder. This stores bile which is produced by the liver and secretes it to the duodenum. Ilium. The epithelial lining of the ileum secretes yet more enzymes which break down maltose and peptides. Ileum has a huge surface area due to the villi present, allowing a greater amount to be absorbed at a time. The ileum is a site of both digestion and absorption. Large Intestine Colon the main function of the colon is to reabsorb the water from the undigested food. Rectum. The rectum stores feces until it is egested. Anus. The anus is the site of egestion. It has sphincter muscles that control when feces is egested from the body. Human teeth. Here is a diagram of the human mouth and the teeth within it. Incisors are sharp and are used for cutting food into small chewable pieces. Canines are at corners and are even sharper. They are also used to bite into and tear food. Premolars have a flat surface and are used to chew and grind food. Molars serve the same purpose as premolars and also have flat surfaces. Teeth decay and proper teeth care. Causes of dental decay include not brushing and flossing regularly, eating foods with high sugar and carbohydrate content, not getting enough fluoride, not having enough saliva, having diabetes and smoking or using smokeless tobacco. To prevent dental decay, 
Brush your teeth twice a day with fluoride toothpaste and floss your teeth daily. Visit your dentist at least every six months. Eat a well-balanced diet and don't smoke. Enzymes Chemical digestion Chemical digestion is the breakdown of larger nutrient molecules into small soluble molecules, usually with the aid of enzymes. It's only possible to absorb the small water-soluble molecules as only these molecules are able to diffuse into the blood and the lymph across the gut wall. Bile Bile contains bile acids, also known as bile salts, that cause large fat globules to break down into microscopic globules. This increases the amount of fat exposed to the outside, which increases the fat surface area, so enzymes have more area to work on and break down the fat. Enzyme secretion Amylase is secreted from salivary glands into the mouth and from the pancreas into the duodenum. Protease is secreted from the stomach and the pancreas. Lipase is secreted from the pancreas. Types of enzymes Amylase Amylase acts on the starch in food, breaking it down into smaller carbohydrates. Pancreatic amylase completes this digestion by breaking down these smaller carbohydrates to their simplest form, glucose. Substrata Starch and carbohydrates, polysaccharides end product, glucose. Protease is a general form for any enzyme that breaks down protein molecules into their monomers, amino acids. Substrata, proteins or polypeptides. End product, amino acids. Lipase. Lipase is a general term for any enzyme that breaks down fat molecules usually triglycerides, into glycerol and fatty acids. Substrat, fats, triglycerides. End product, glycerol and fatty acids. Absorption is defined as the movement of digested food molecules through the wall of the intestine into the blood. Villi. Villi, singular villus, are infoldings or finger-like projections in the internal intestinal wall. These villi are covered in microvilli, which are further finger-like projections, as shown in this diagram. Note that a lacteal is basically just a small lymphatic vessel. These infoldings greatly increase the surface area of the small intestine so nutrient molecules can diffuse into the blood or lymph faster. The wall of the villi is only one cell thick, decreasing diffusion distance. Each villus is approximately 0 0.5 to 1.6 millimetres in length in humans. There are digestive enzymes on the surface of the villi. Villi capillaries take up amino acids and simple sugars, while the villi lacteals take up the fatty acids and glycerol. The liver and glucose. After the absorption of glucose from the gut, the glucose is directly transported to the liver via the hepatic portal vein. The liver removes excess blood glucose and stores it as glycogen. This process is stimulated by the hormone insulin. If blood sugar level is too low, then the liver converts glycogen to glucose, so it can be used for respiration. This process is stimulated by the hormone glycogen. Fats the number of carbon-hydrogen bonds, CH bonds, in an organic molecule is generally proportional to its chemical potential energy, the energy it can give off when broken down. 
Fats can have very long fatty acid chains with hundreds of CH bonds, so are very high energy molecules. They are harder to break down, however, so are used as a long-term energy source. Fats are usually stored under the skin and around some organs. They are also served as good insulators against the cold. This is the end of the topic. Thank you for listening. We hope that you found it informative. Next, we will be discussing transportation in plants. That is the end of the topic. Thank you for listening and we hope that you found it informative. Next, we will be discussing transportation in plants. Please remember to like, comment, share and subscribe for more. Until next time, take care.